Do you want to go to court with this? I'm trying. I'm offering you right now a, 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 an opportunity for us to make this finish in peace, peaceful, man. We walk away. You go do what you gotta do. I'll go do what I gotta do. I I I've been through the hurt. You've been through the hurt. I love you more than anything in in life. But I I do not want to go into a court with you. you. Don't like the way that mediation is going. Take me back to court, kid. Cause I can't. I I would. I re this is the last chance, Amber. This is it. I'm telling you now, there is no call. It doesn't need to happen like this. Please, for sake, trust me, man. I was not going to help you in this. Nobody's going to help you in this. I'm trying to help you in this. I love you. Regardless of whether we're together or not. I love you. And I have loved you. With everything in the world. An audio clip of Amber Heard and Johnny Depp engaging what is assumed to be their final phone call has recently surfaced on social media. The audio reportedly led to people believing that Heard was allegedly planning to frame Depp following their divorce. So what are the contents of this final phone call? It is important to note that the audio clips were from 2015 and 2016, when Johnny Depp and Amber Heard were preparing to go through divorce proceedings. The audio contains tense and emotional conversational exchanges between the former pair while they discussed whether their separation should be made public and whether legal proceedings should be involved in their argument. The audio garnered thousands of views, with several social media users claiming that it contained proof of Heard allegedly attempting to frame Depp. In the clip, Amber Heard can be noticed saying, it is insanely cross-corroborated, then it is a plan of I'm going to put makeup on myself and take pictures throughout the years and just sit on it for years. That while having this, like this imaginary life ran parallel to it. Do you understand? She then adds, the pictures I've matched with text messages to my mom back and forth about it, you know, and text messages between say, Raquel and my mom, or my dad, or you know, between my two friends. Later in the audio, Heard can be heard telling her publicist, Jodie Goldlieb, that her James Corbin appearance needs to be cancelled due to the marks on her face. Between, say, Raquel and my, my mom, or my, Raquel and my dad, or, you know, um, between my two friends. Or there's a text message where I tell Jodie the night before I had that James Corbin night show. She can also be heard speaking about legal action in the audio saying, in this case, which I will have, it will be criminal as well because I cannot go on signing and file without filing a police statement first. It will be criminal as well because I cannot go on signing and file without filing a police statement. So the actress is then heard telling Depp the only reason she has not taken legal action is to refrain from hurting him. And the only reason I haven't filed that police statement, which has been used against me, by the way, every day, and the only reason I won't do it, I haven't done it, it's because I don't want to hurt you. In response, the Pirates of the Caribbean star also noted that he loves her and does not want to hurt her either. I'm going to help you in this. Nobody's going to help you in this. I'm trying to help you in this. I love you. Additionally, the audio file also contained the infamous Amber Heard appears to mock the idea that Depp might position himself as a victim. Tell people it was a fair fight and see what the jury and the judge thinks. Tell the world, Johnny. Tell them I, Johnny Depp, I am a victim too of domestic violence. You know, it's a fair fight and see how many people believe or sides with you, the actor says. This recorded phone call was actually played separately in court and served as a major element in the cross-examination against her. As the audio progressed, the actress could then be heard clarifying why she called 911 saying, I'm not trying to attack you here. I'm just trying to point out the fact of why I said call 911. Because you had your hands on me after you threw a phone in my face and it's gotten crazy in the past. And I truly thought I need to stop this madness before I get hurt. The leaked audio has caused a huge uproar amongst Johnny Depp fans who have not been shy about saying what they truly feel about Amber Heard. So AH files to go to court, but says Johnny shouldn't file back to protect himself so she could walk all over him. So blame Johnny, blame his lawyer and her lawyer, but not for a second takes accountability. 
She spouts about truth. She doesn't understand what truth is because she has always been a bare-faced liar, manipulator, and greedy piece of the woman is sick, one fan wrote. That is a strong good man being able to sit through toxic garbage. I'm not sure if she's trying to get information, be kind, or just letting the last of what he thought he loved dissipate. I think more than anything, he's probably trying to protect his children without saying that because she would have went after them harder. I really admire him. He stayed in his own power, a second fan wrote. A third fan added, Amber realized she went too far at the end and tried to rectify the situation by saying, you don't have to be cruel on top of it. She knew when he excused himself from the conversation that he was done. I'm so happy she isn't in his life anymore. I just want to spend the rest of his life doing what he wants that makes him happy. I want him to finally be able to have a relationship with his children without the evil in their lives. Good luck, Johnny. Be happy. While a fourth fan simply wrote, Now that the case is over, we can see how she tried to manipulate JD. She's such an evil person. The Amber Heard and Johnny Depp legal battle has been one huge roller coaster ride, especially with all the countersuits and appeals. During the defamation trial that took place earlier on this year, Heard testified about various other incidents of physical violence, describing occasions in which Depp allegedly slapped her, threw her to the ground, grabbed her by her hair, pushed her against a wall, headbutted her, and threw objects at her, including drinking glasses and a cell phone. Heard's lawyers introduced evidence that they said backed up her claims, including cell phone photos of Heard with bruises on her face and text messages from Depp. However, Brian Neumeister, an expert witness called by Depp's legal team, testified that embedded data showed some photos went through an Apple photo editing and sorting application. He noted that three photos that appeared to be the same were in fact different sizes. Depp disputed parts of Heard's testimony, saying he has never struck a woman. In response to the headbutting claim, Depp alleged that Heard attacked him and they might have accidentally knocked heads while he attempted to restrain her. As for Depp, he made public audio recordings of conversations he had with Heard over the course of their relationship. In the recordings, which were first published by the Daily Mail shortly before the UK trial in January 2020, Heard refers to hitting Depp. She says, I'm sorry that I didn't hit you across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. I don't know what the motion of my actual hand was, but you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. Depp responds that, I just couldn't take the idea of more physicality, more physical abuse on each other. Warren Heard that, I'm scared to death we are effing crime scene right now. Heard replies, I can't promise you I won't get physical again. God, I effing sometimes get so mad I lose it. The defamation case brought by actor Johnny Depp against his ex-wife Amber Heard came to an end in June after a seven-person jury unanimously ruled in favor of Depp. But what preceded the case? Depp and Heard's relationship began more than a decade ago and eventually devolved into what appears to have been a toxic marriage. The couple split in 2016. They battled in court over an op-ed Heard wrote for the Washington Post in 2018 in which she describes surviving domestic violence without mentioning Depp by name. Depp sued for $50 million in damages. The jury unanimously found that Heard could not substantiate her allegations against Depp and that she knew her claims of abuse were false when she published her 2018 essay. The jury determined that Heard acted with actual malice when writing her op-ed. The jury awarded Depp $10 million compensatory damages and $5 million in punitive damages in his defamation suit. Heard countersued for $100 million and said she was only ever violent with Depp in self-defense or defense of her younger sister. Heard's countersuit centered around three statements made by Depp's former attorney Adam Waldman in 2020 to the Daily Mail in which he described Heard's allegations of abuse as a hoax. The jury found that Depp, through Waldman, defamed Heard on one count. The jury awarded Heard $2 million in compensatory damages, but zero in punitive damages. So what do you think about the leaked phone call conversation? Let us know in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.